Well, men, that about winds it up. But remember, this classroom session is just the beginning. Uh, tomorrow, it'll be my job as your driver trainer to take each one of you recruits out driving one by one to let you put these ideas we covered into practice. Now, after you've been on the road a while, you'll begin to see why we do so much talking about intersections. You can forget them figures I gave you. But, uh, just be... Most accidents happen at intersections. And once you get that through your heads, your job will be easier, safer, and a heck of a lot more secure. So, uh, let's keep these main points in mind. Number one, approach intersections cautiously. Number two, don't depend on the right of way. Number three, before turning, slow down, signal, and look in the mirrors. Number four, never pass in an... And number five, watch out for blind corners. Now, uh, the first thing tomorrow morning, uh, Joe, I'll start with you. Me? Yeah, you. You'll find out how these ideas work out on the road, okay? Okay. Well, Joe, remember this. Anything can happen at an intersection. And if you pile up, brother, no alibi is gonna take the place of a smashed rig or a broken neck. The quickest way to get yourself scattered over the landscape is to barge into one of these intersections like a dame at a bargain counter. Now, take this intersection, for instance. The light's red. So we stop. But does everybody? Heck no. <laughs> Look at that hot rod. He's going through against the red. If one of those cars waiting to cross had made a jackrabbit start, somebody would be messed up but good. You gotta drive like everybody else was crazy, Joe. Too many birds think that just because they got the green, nothing can happen. Stop lights and stop signs ain't barricades, you know. I don't get you. If you can't trust stop signs and signals, how's a guy gonna stay out of trouble? By remembering what we said yesterday. To always approach intersections cautiously. By being prepared, like the Boy Scouts say. Slow down and be ready for anything. Well, doesn't the right of way mean anything? Why, man, the cemeteries are full of guys that had the right of way. And they're just as dead as if they hadn't. Right of way is something to give, not take. Another thing. Believe it or not, a lot of accidents are caused by drifting. Drifting? With a truck? With anything on wheels. Drifting means letting your rig roll forward or back after you've stopped for the red light. Only reason is carelessness. A red light, Joe, is a traffic control, not a place to relax. While waiting at a light, keep your foot on the brake and your eyes on what's going on. Watch the guy alongside, especially if he's goosing his engine. He may be figuring to cut in. The best thing to do is let him get out of your way. And uh, speaking of traffic lights, it uh, never pays to play them. You mean uh, jockeying so the green lights are always in your favor? Right. Where signals are synchronized, it's good to get into step with the light so you don't have to stop. But where they're not synchronized, don't jockey to avoid stopping. Jockeying means holding off on the brake till the last second or kicking her in the tail to beat the light. Don't do it. The risks you run are much greater than the wear and tear you think you save on the equipment by not stopping. On a boulevard like this, you have to figure ahead what you're gonna do. Now we gotta turn left, so we get into the proper lane. Now, lane switching in heavy traffic is tricky. Before turning, Look in both mirrors, signal, and slow down. And don't forget to signal in plenty of time. Now, when you get ready to bend her around the corner, you have to give way to traffic from all directions, coming towards you and from each side. And that includes people on foot. Yeah, but Andy, I thought everybody knows how to make a left turn. <laughs> Trouble is people never figure things ahead. They wake up all of a sudden to the fact that they have to turn. So they turn. And speaking of turns, that's where you'll get mixed up with the pedestrian. He always has the right of way, even when he's jaywalking. So uh, give him a break. And Joe, 
Never pass in an intersection unless you're going slow and the car you're passing is making a turn away from you. Every crossing is a bear trap, believe me. Ah, take that one up ahead. It's blind. You don't know what to expect till you get up to the intersection itself. You gotta creep up to a blind crossing and be ready to give her the air at a moment's notice. So remember, watch out for blind intersections, whether they're blocked by buildings, shrubbery, hills, or curves. Uh, ever hear of tailgating, Joe? Sure, that's another name for bumper riding. And that's another name for following too close. Give yourself room to stop if the guy you had slams on his brakes. Say, hey, Andy. Look at all those tire burns on the road. What gives? Those burns were put down because screwball drivers barge out of driveways in front of high-speed traffic. If you want to live to be an old hand at this business, Joe, watch out for driveways, especially farm lanes. They're murder. But a good driver always knows what to expect and seldom has to dynamite his brakes. Say, Joe, uh, that looks like a good spot to stop for a minute. Let's pile in here and wet our whistles with a little java, huh? Say, um, just before we left the city, Andy, we made a right turn. You had me make some maneuvers that looked kind of screwy to me. How about that? Well, I was trying to avoid what is known as the squeeze play, Joe. I'll show you what I mean on this menu. Now, here we were, and we had a turn right. We couldn't do it from next to the curb, and it's dangerous to swing left to turn right. So, first we got within four or five feet of the curb so a car couldn't crowd in on our right side, like this. As you'll recall, I told you to watch the mirrors and to signal, then to pull straight out into the intersection like so, until clearing the curb with the rear wheels. Then we bent her around when everything was clear. Now, in the country, Joe, you have blind intersections the same as you have in the city, like that one ahead. Only in the country, you don't always know where to expect them. If you don't know the road, expect to find a blind crossing behind every clump of trees and bushes. And you have traffic lights and stop signs in the country, just like downtown. Only some drivers get the feeling that because it's open country, they're safe in trying to beat them. Don't do it, Joe. Uh, speaking of traffic signals, how about the yellow light? For my money, yellow and red are the same color. They both mean stop. Regardless how you mix red and yellow, Joe, it never makes green. And while I'm talking about stops, S-T-O-P spells stop, not slow. At stop signs, stop dead. The idea is to give you time to see if it's safe to go ahead. Flying stops are strictly for the birds. A fella hears a lot of cracks about warning signs, Andy. Uh, do you take any stock in them? Well, I don't want to sound like a Sunday school teacher, but uh, those signs are a trucker's guardian angel. Take a look at that sign up ahead. That sign is your radar. It tells you there's an intersection ahead that you can't see. Without signs like that, you might drop over a hill or swing around a bend and give yourself a bad time. Well, that finishes our run, I guess. I sure hope I can remember all you've said, Andy. Well, uh, let's go in the garage and go over it again, just to make sure it sticks. Now then, Joe, let's see how good that memory of yours is. Well, as I recall, your first point was something about uh, taking it easy, uh, like it says on that poster, slow down at intersections. Key wreck. Come to think of it, Joe, there's a poster on the wall for practically everything we cover. Ah, you see that poster over there? It says, danger lurks at blind corners. That's for sure. Do you remember what we said about uh, right away? Sure. Give, never take the right away. Check. If you forget every other thing I told you, remember that. There's a little of the golden rule in that next one. It's courteous to signal. You can't expect the other fella to give you a signal if you don't give him one. And besides signaling, you have to look before turning. That means back as well as front and both sides. And Joe, you'd better have the answer to this one. Can you stop in time? If you can't, 
Whammo. Now that poster on the end wraps up everything I've been telling you all day. Go ahead and read it. Any intersection is a hot spot for accidents. Yes, sir, you can get yourself fouled up quicker and easier at an intersection than you can by contradicting your wife. <laughs> Traffic lines, pal, are like electric power lines. Everything's all right till you cross them, and then, ah, uh, there's bad news tonight. I'll be shoving off, Joe, but I'll be seeing you. Intersections ain't the only things a driver has to watch out for. Tomorrow we'll go out again and take up something else. Meanwhile, Joe, remember, most accidents happen at intersections, and your best bet is to practice caution at the crossroads.